Hello and welcome to the 10th day of Lent for 2023. Bienvenidos al día 10 de la cuaresma de 2023. It's hard to believe we're already one quarter of the way through Lent. Estamos ya 25% terminado con la cuaresma. In most of our languages, there is some kind of a term like Better the devil you know than the devil you don't know. Casi todos los idiomas hay, hay un término que significa algo como mejor el diablo que conoces que el que no conoces. And this is a human um, idea, almost universal, that we're better off with the things we know and understand than the things we really don't know and don't understand. Es algo casi universal para los seres humanos que... Sentimos mucho mejor con las cosas que conocemos y entendemos que con las cosas que no entendemos. And this is good in many parts of life. It's a, it's a survival instinct. But when it comes to faith, it's actually more of an impediment than a blessing. Es algo que no sirve mucho para so, sobrevivir como especie, pero cuando llega a los asuntos de la fe, nos impide en nuestro viaje espiritual. We're not alone in this. Um, we can see this happening even in the Bible. We can see this happening among Jesus' disciples, in fact. Podemos ver que esto sucede aún entre los discípulos del Señor Jesucristo. Remember that um, at one point, James and John, uh, or in some, in some instances, James and John's mother, in other instances, James and John personally talked to Jesus and asked to sit at his left and his right in the kingdom of God. They have no idea what they're talking about. So they're thinking of the kingdom of God in terms that they understand. They're trying, trying to take control of an uncontrollable situation. Um, Santiago y Juan in los evangelios o a veces su madre de ellos se acerca con Jesús y pide sentar a su diestra y su siniestra en el reino de Dios sin tener idea de qué están hablando, tratando de controlar una situación que no se puede controlar. And we do the same kind of thing many times in our lives when there are things we don't understand, we we try to control them, we try to dominate them, we try to escape from them, maybe we try to avoid them. En nuestras vidas, cuando hay cosas que no entendemos y no podemos controlar, tratamos de ver la forma o de controlar o de dominar o de escapar o de evitar la situación. And so, when we come to things of faith, we have to take a step back and not go with that gut instinct to avoid or to find a way around the things that we don't know. We have to somehow embrace that unknowingness that comes with faith in a God that cannot be fully known, that cannot be fully understood. Nosotros tenemos que de alguna forma escapar de ese, de ese instinto de evitar o de... O de uh, rodear o, o buscar otro camino cuando viene a un Dios que no se puede completamente entender, que no se puede entender con la inteligencia humana. So our, um, our fast for today is to fast from our usual ways of avoiding or controlling the things that we don't know. Nuestro ayuno de hoy es eh, ayunar de nuestras formas de eh, tratar de controlar o evitar las situaciones que no entendemos. So think about the things that you don't understand about Lent. Think about the things that you don't understand about Holy Week. The things that you don't understand about the cross. It's not wrong to not understand it. Take some time in thought and reflection on those aspects of faith that you don't understand. Piensa en las cosas que no entiende. De, de cuaresma, de Semana Santa, de la cruz. Toma unos momentos considerando, pensando, meditando en esas cosas 
que no entiendes. And instead of avoiding them, dedicate them to God and confess that these are things I just don't understand. Help me to understand them. Dedica esos asuntos a Dios y dile que esas son cosas que yo no entiendo. Ayúdame a entenderlos. I hope that you have a blessed reflection of Lent today and a blessed Lord's Day tomorrow. And we'll see you on day 11. Que pasen buen día de reflexión hoy. Buen día de eh, adoración mañana. Y nos vemos en el día 11 de cuaresma. God bless you. Dios les bendiga.